Hey everyone, I am Alexandre Vernac. Welcome to part 3 of Automated Offline Finishing with Duple Finishers. In this express video, we will learn how to configure the firing post preferences for finisher integration. To create a new finisher preset layout using the Create Finisher Preset Wizard within firing pose for a tent card, print product and how to apply the imposition to a finisher preset layout and publish it. Also, how to import an existing layout preset from the duple finisher controller to firing pose. Note that this feature is only applied to integration between Fire Impose and the Duplo DC68 Slitter Cutter Creaser. If you still haven't configured your DC68 finisher controller to the Fire Impose, please take a look on the how to guide one time setup configuration for Duplo DC68 finisher integration with Fire Impose before start creating this preset layout in your system. Let's configure the Fire Impose preferences to work with the Duplo DC68. Select the tent card job on the Fire Command Workstation queue and choose the Fire Impose option. This document can be downloaded from the part 3 how to guide from this location. Once the Fire Impose window appears, go to the File menu and select Preferences. In the New Preferences window, click on the Impose Finishers tab and select the Allo Finisher Integration checkbox to enable the finisher configuration. Choose the DC68 from the Select Device list and enter the PC controller IP number for the finisher and hit the Test button to check if the finisher controller is reachable through your network. The test will run and if it finds the finisher controller, it will show a pass message window to confirm the connection. Again, if you need help to configure this step, check the how to guide one time setup configuration for more information. The preset path field is used to connect to the duple finisher controller to enable additional presets to be stored there, and they can be important using the import presets button at any time. Enter the CPM, PFM and RTM modules devices configuration options. They will define the number of crease perforation and fold available modules at the duplo equipment for use. Also enter the barcode range fields to define the minimal and maximum number range that will be available for the barcode for the specific finisher. And then click the OK button to finish the preferences configuration. Note. Once the preference settings are confirmed, you need to close the Fire Impose window so that any configuration changes will be applied the next time that Impose is opened. Now let's create a new preset layout for the tent card sample to print this document and send it to the Duplo Finisher controller. Locate the tent card sample file in the held queue and right click on it and choose the Impose option. In the Fire Impose window, click the Create Layout button located in the Settings panel to start. The Create Finisher Preset Wizard window will present three tabs for the preset configuration. Layout Settings, Crease and Perforation. It's important to notice that this wizard will guide you to enter all the required fields in their sequential order. Going by this sequence will ensure the finishing parameters are set correctly for the finisher. At the bottom of the window, the acceptable value range for each field is shown in blue. They will change as you move from field to field. Use the tab key to move to the next field. Back and forward navigation buttons at the bottom of the window can also be used to move across the fields. Once all the required fields are completed, you can move to the next tab. Use the Next button to go to the following tab or click the Apply button to finish your edits and exit the wizard. The finisher module DC68 defined in the preferences comes prefilled by the wizard. By default, the finisher preset shows the new preset option. Use this option to create a new preset from scratch. 
you may also choose one of the existing presets from the drop-down list and adjust it if needed. Or you can create a new preset based on the existing presets values by clicking the Create New Using button. Click on the Forward Navigation button to move to the following field. Or you can use the Tab key. Fill in the job barcode number with the correspondent ID that will be used for the Duplo Finisher controller to identify this finisher setup. And then click on the Tab key or Forward Navigation button again. For the perforation setup, you can leave the horizontal field as 0 and for our vertical field type 1. Then move to the next field. Now choose the sheet size for the job. Select the 13 by 19 option from the drop-down list and notice that the preview automatically adjusts the print document into the sheet size. Note, you can also use the edit button to choose a specific media from the paper catalog. Leave the finisher feed direction as portrait. Select the Include Barcode checkbox to apply the barcode impression on the sheet. Fire Impose uses the finish information from the PDF file, so confirm the finish size values. This layout will print the tent card twice on this sheet, so leave the raw value as 1 and change the column value to 2. Notice that the preview is adjusted to two columns automatically. Don't change the gutter values. Leave the fixed selection and fixed gutter slit as 0.5 inches and the fixed cutter cut as 0. Here you can also confirm the layout offset values as they are. At this point, you can go back to the previous field or move to the crease and perforation configuration. Also, click the Apply button to finish the addition going back to the Imposition Layout Edit or hit the Cancel button and exit ignoring any changes made. Click the Next button to continue. In the Crease tab, choose the number of creases needed for the job. You can choose up to 20 creases in this layout. Select 3 in the combo list. Enter the crease positions as designed for this document and notice that the preview shows the defined crease locations. Click on the Next button to continue. Now for this tent card sample, you will add one vertical perforation. In the module type list, select the RTM option. Then leave the path options as they are. Here it is where you can choose the different types of perforation styles that are available on the Duplo DC68. It's important to note that you need to define only one perforation for this tent card. Fire Impose will automatically apply the same finishing to the second tent card in this layout. Leave the number of vertical perforation as 1. In the Pattern 1 Definition section, set the X coordination for the perforation line in. Select 2 in the Segments drop down list. This will allow you to create two perforations on both sides of the tent card. For the first perforation segment, enter the initial and end values for I coordinate and do the same for the second perforation position. After finish it, click to apply button to exit the preset layout window. You can publish it and save it later to the duple finisher controller after finishing the imposition. Now that you have a preset layout defined for the Duplo job, you can adjust the imposition settings as you normally do for any job in the far impose. First, select the Intent drop-down list and choose the Repeat option. We will see that the preview shows a second tent card in the Sheet View panel, as would be printed. At the bottom of the Settings panel, we will notice a new Preset Validation Information section. Errors needed to be corrected before a preset can be sent to the Duplo controller. Here you can see a warning that may need operator's attention. Click on the Publish button in the Layout Creation area of the Settings panel to publish this preset to the Duplo controller. In the new pop-up window, 
enter the desired finisher preset layout name that will be visible to the Drupal controller. The barcode number is retrieved from the preset layout definition. Select the checkboxes to save the job to the finisher's queue and to include the thumbnail image. Click the Publish button to confirm. Now open the DC68 finisher controller software to check that the new job is added to the job queue and is ready to be used by the finisher. After a finisher layout preset is created, this layout can be saved as a firing pose template so that it can be used for future jobs. The firing pose template can integrate with fire workflow automation applications such as fire hot folders and fire job flow to automate the imposition for future jobs. To create a new impose template, click on the disk icon located on the top of the settings pane. In the Save Template pop-up window, enter the template's new name and hit the OK button to confirm. The fire impose template is saved. In case that you already have finishing layouts created in the Drupal controller, you can import them into fire impose and make edits. You can import any preset using the Import Presets button from the Finisher option in the Fire Impose Preferences window. After click the Import Presets button, you need to select the folder where the preset is located using the Select Folder button. If any presets were founded in the that folder, this system will confirm how many were imported in the new window message. Now the preset will be listed in the Finisher Preset list of the Create Finisher Preset wizard and can be used in a new Impose job. For more information about the Fire Automation, Fire Impose and other software training resources, please visit learning.efi.com. Thanks for watching.